Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be discussing about mummification process. The subtopics are going to be introduction, salient features, time required, factors affecting it and medical legal importance. If you want this PPT, then you can go check out my website. I have uploaded it there and the link for website is given in the description box. Now let's get started. So mummification can be defined as a rapid dehydration or desiccation process and shriveling of the dead body from evaporation of the water with preservation of the natural appearances and features of the body. So basically what happens in mummification is that the body is dehydrated. Now how it is dehydrated? By evaporating the water. All the water contained from the body is evaporated from the dead body and also the natural appearance of the dead body is preserved. It is a modification of putrefaction. The entire body is going to lose weight of course because all the water has been evaporated. The body starts to become thin stiff brittle and odorless the process of normal decomposition of the dead body is prevented in this case as the growth of microorganism is retarded in mummification it occurs most readily in a current of dry warm air so the most favorable conditions for mummification is a current of dry warm air dry warm air is going to promote mummification also since the growth of microorganisms is retarded in this process, hence the decomposition is prevented because for decomposition we need microorganisms and if microorganisms are not there then decomposition will be prevented. Here you can see a picture of a mummy. Then let's talk about a few salient features. Mummification begins in the exposed parts of the body which is going to include face, lip and tip of nose in face, then hands, feet and then it extends to the entire body which includes the internal organs as well. The skin may be translucent due to absorption of liquefied subcutaneous fat. It is usually shrunken and contracted, dry, brittle, leathery and rusty brown in color, stretched tightly across anatomical prominences such as cheekbones, chin, coastal margin, hips and adheres closely to the bones and often covered with fungal growth. So these are all the features of the skin of a mummy of how the mummy is going to look like like the skin is going to shrink and contract it is going to become dry brittle leathery and all these features the internal organs if you talk about the internal organs then they also become shrunken hard dark brown and blackish in color and they become like a single mass and may not be identifiable as like two different organs might not be identified as two different organs they become a single mass collagen elastic tissue cardiac and skeletal muscle cartilage and bone are usually demonstrable histologically in the mummified material occasionally a body may show evidence of the mummification in certain parts and adipocere changes in others thus there may be adipocere in cheeks and abdomen and buttocks with mummification of the arms and legs so sometimes what can happen is that mummification and adipocere formation might happen simultaneously like for example we can find adipocere formation in the subcutaneous fatty areas like the cheeks abdomen buttocks whereas we can find mummification in the same dead body in arms and legs right now if we talk about the time required for mummification then it varies from 3 to 3 months to 12 months or it can, it can take even more time. The factors that affect mummification includes hot environment as in deserts, dry environment, mummification cannot occur in humid condition. We need to have dry atmosphere, dry environment for mummification to occur. Then free air movement has to be there. It helps in rapid evaporation of the body fluid. Then contact of the body with absorbing media. A dead body lying in shallow grave 
in dry sandy soil mummifies early due to absorption of the body fluids rapidly so the dry sandy soil or a shallow grave is going to absorb the water from the dead body which is going to speed up the mummification process then in case of poisoning chronic arsenic or antimony poisoning favors the process of mummification the medical legal importance is same as adipose here so you can go check out that video i have provided the link in the description box this was all about this video i hope you understood what mummification is and all the subtopics if you found the video to be useful then please like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video Thank you for watching.